guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sagai, board certified dermatologist. Today's video is gonna be on acne treatments you can do at home, products that you can find online or at your local retail store. So it's a interesting video where I prescribe a lot of acne medications on a daily basis, but there are things you can do at home while you wait for your dermatology appointment, or if you have very mild acne that's not scarring. These are some products you could consider. Again, this is not medical advice. If you have worsening acne, acne that's scarring, always see your dermatologist for personalized medical advice. So today's video is just for educational purposes only. This video is sponsored by Zip Stick Up, which I've worked with quite a bit in the last couple of years. I like the brand a lot. They are known for their pimple patches that you can find say at Ulta Beauty. Today I'll be talking about their Goo Getter pimple patches. Zit Sticka, they are known for their pimple patch technology. They use micro dart technology in some of their other products like the Killa. I love the names too in the brand. Uh, this is the Goo Getter. So the Goo Getter is more of their standard hydrocolloid patch. That is great. My wife and I use them whenever we get the occasional breakout. We're both doctors and so we use our masks pretty much all day long in the clinic or hospital setting. And so we do occlude our pores and get pimples especially the lower half of the face during this pandemic. And many of you have masked up during this time and have gotten more mask knee. And so during this time when we don't want a piece of cloth or medical grade mask rubbing on the acne that's just come out, it's really juicy and painful. Sorry to use the word juicy. Dermatologists, we tend to use the word juicy quite a bit. But if it's really plump, red, inflamed, maybe even pustular, you don't want any further trauma on it, whether with your nail, no picking, but also you don't want to have your mask rubbing on it further. And so I like pimple patches a lot to cover that pimple, to protect it, to allow it to heal and also flatten out. And so I have a little bit of an acne here on the bottom of my lip there that I can show you how to put this on. Find this at Ulta Beauty, like we said. There's a nice little compact packaging here. You can put it in your work bag and bring it with you. And then they come in these little sleeves here. Now let's go over the ingredients really quickly. So the hydrocolloid patches are nice in drawing out impurities, the debris from your acne without you having to pop or squeeze them, which leads to scarring. We don't want that obviously. And so we have a nice environment with the hydrocolloid film. And this is also impregnated with nice ingredients like niacinamide, which is vitamin B3. It's anti-inflammatory, helps regulate sebum production. And so I like that in my acne. Uh, products quite a bit. Also has salicylic acid, which is a beta hydroxy acid that goes deep into the pore and cleans them out. Also has some ascorbic acid to help with maybe even lightening the dark spot that might happen afterwards, especially in skin of color. And also some tea tree oil, which is antimicrobial. Let's open this up. So I just cleansed my face and so I'm gonna apply the pimple patches. It has two different sizes. And I think this one will probably require just a small one. If you have it too big, it might interrupt. It might fall off because it'll get onto my lip when it comes to eating. So let's try the small patch here. And just like that, you put the cover it so that the acne is right in the center and that really flattens it out. Let that sit there for six plus hours and then go about your day, put your mask on, and then later on, take it off and you'll see little specks or a whole film of white debris, impurities being pulled out of your acne. And so this Goo Getter is more than just your regular hydrocolloid patch. It has other ingredients to help battle that acne further. Check out Zitstika. I like this patch a lot to flatten that acne. Now let's go on to other spot treatments, other things you can do. Benzoyl peroxide is a really nice ingredient in addition to salicylic acid and cleaning out your pores. Helps with whiteheads, blackheads, helps with killing bacteria, especially the bacteria under your mask. And so I like not only their cleansers, but also their spot treatment. So you have Neutrogena's Stubborn Acne AM treatment with two and a half percent benzoyl peroxide. All you have to do is just spot treat a little acne. I have a little bit on the side of my neck here, on the, on the side here. Just dab a small amount there. And there you go. Or the other nice spot treatment would be the La Roche-Posay Effaclar Dual, which has the benzoyl peroxide 5.5%, so more of that, plus you have LHA uh, to help with exfoliating, micro exfoliating lipohydroxy acid. 
So this one's a little bit more of a punch, but I like this one a lot. So say you have a little bit of acne on your, say your hairline, your forehead, Let's put a small amount, that little small papule there, I have my forehead. And just go about your day and let that be. So different strategies to treating acne. Now the name of the game for acne is always prevention. Once it's out, it is a little tough to speed up the healing process. The big goal is to maybe try and dry things up, calm the inflammation down so it doesn't leave a big scar or blemish afterwards. And so these strategies with spot treating with benzoyl peroxide or the hydrocholate patch, that's what we're looking at in terms of protecting your acne so that things don't rub on it. Because when it rubs on the acne, it can really spill pigment and cause a lot of brown stains in your skin afterwards. And for me, being skin of color, that stain can last for like six months uh, easily. So we really want to calm the inflammation down and not rub on the acne further. In terms of acne prevention, the best thing you can do at home would be using adapalene. It used to be prescription. I used to prescribe adapalene 0.1% in clinic if you came to see me. Now it's adapalene 0.3% and up is now what I would prescribe or other things like tretinoin, tazeratine. Now, you can get things over the counter that are that is adapalene 0.1% and this is an example of different gel. This is the 45 gram tube, which I think is a better price. Don't fall and get the smaller size because it's a cheaper price. I think this is a better value to get the bigger size from. This is the this what you'll be looking for, the 45 gram tube. La Roche-Posay also makes a nice uh, adapalene 0.1%. So the big ones that I recommend would be Differin or La Roche-Posay adapalene 0.1%. So the way you would use this is at bedtime, after you wash your face, when your skin's dry, not damp, you wanna apply a pea-sized amount of this to your entire face. Now. Um, what you do is just one pump usually is enough. That's that pea size amount. And then you would just break it up, put small dots on your face, and then connect the dots. Normally I say don't uh, combine on your own the benzoyl peroxide and the adapalene because it can cause a lot of irritation. My skin can tolerate it, but in general you don't wanna mix the two on your own, okay? They have other products that will combine it for you, like, like Epidural Forte or Twinio. Those are prescription medications with a retinoid combined with benzoyl peroxide, uh, which I can tolerate, but don't do it on your own. I didn't wash off that benzoyl peroxide applied on my face for demonstration purposes, but that's how you apply your adapalene 0.1%. Now, why do we care? Why do we want to use this? Adapalene is a retinoid. It's a synthetic retinoid, which helps clean out your pores, helps keep them small by keeping them clean. You, when you have them full of dead skin, keratin debris, you're gonna stretch that pore out and cause larger pores. When it's clogged, it can manifest as a blackhead, which is oxidized keratin, oxygen getting into the debris and making it black. And you commonly see that on the nose and forehead, especially in teenagers, or whiteheads when it's just a closed over pore, and that's a small little closed comedone. And so adapalene will help break those whiteheads up or even clean out those blackheads. So it's really nice in preventing acne by keeping the pores clean. The etiology of acne is the pore itself, where you have bacteria in it called P. acnes, and it eats up all this dead skin, the sebum, the sebum that's trapped in there will feed the bacteria and make it proliferate and cause inflammation within the pore, leading to active acne, inflammatory acne. That can lead to scarring. And so our goal is to prevent that. Uh, and so adapalene is really nice for preventing acne. It also helps with cell turnover. It might help it help lighten your dark spots, but that can take many months to do. And then there is some data about helping with reversing photo aging, increasing collagen production. But I'm more convinced that tretinoin does that more so than adapalene. I wanna see more studies around adapalene and its anti-aging effects. Quick little video there, I just wanted to talk about uh, spot treatments with the pimple patch, with benzoyl peroxide, but also as field therapy with adapalene. Now adapalene is not spot treatment, it's to your entire face, that small pea size amount. And that is pretty much what you need in addition to uh, cleansers. And I have videos on cleansers, but in general I do like cleansers with salicylic acid, 
or benzoyl peroxide and CeraVe is just a great example of that. They have the salicylic acid, um, they have the CeraVe SA and also they have their acne uh, foaming cream cleanser. That's really nice with 4% benzoyl peroxide and niacinamide. Those are my go-to uh, cleansers that I do every day to every other day. At the end of clinic, I'll wash my face with them to clean out my pores a day of wearing a mask. You want to clean out your pores after that or after workout you can bring it down to your body and cleanse your body uh, to prevent body acne you don't want your clothes to be stuck on your skin and sit and lounge with your wet clothes after a workout because it will really promote body acne try to get out of those wet clothes as soon as possible and wash your body with benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid big thing though with benzoyl peroxide make sure you wash that off well so that you don't bleach your clothes, your towels, your linen sheets, pillowcases and such because benzoyl peroxide is notorious for that. So just keep that in mind, all right guys? So please hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel, please share with your friends. But again, this is not medical advice. Please see your dermatologist if your acne is out of control. And again, check out Zit Sticker's Goo Getter Patches at Ulta Beauty. And I'll see you guys for the next video, all right? Take care and peace.